This week on Cruising Calypso, we're going to do the last thing on our list before she's launched. We're going to spray the running gear with um, anti-fouling paint, so stay tuned. So welcome back to the channel. We are underneath Calypso 2 on a very miserable cold day. This week was 90 degrees for the first two days and right now it is 47 degrees. So here we are underneath. And the reason we're here is the boat is scheduled to go in the water next week. And I'm here to do the last step that I usually do, which is to spray running gear with Pettit Prop Coat Barnacle Barrier. It's basically zinc paint. So the propellers and running gear and shafts are made of Nibril, which is a metallurgic mix of nickel, bronze, and aluminum. And so I spray it each year with this zinc paint, which while it's not an ablative like the bottom paint is, it does eventually wear off, but it does a pretty damn good job of keeping the barnacles to a minimum because you know, you know, we use the boat pretty regularly, but even with that, um, where we keep the boat in Sipican Harbor in Marion, there is very little current. And so even in a, in a week or two weeks, you can start to get build up on the running gear. And that takes its toll on boat performance and fuel economy. If it gets too bad, then you have to short haul the boat and have it power washed, which we may end up doing anyway, but at least this cuts down on that. So we're gonna do that and let's see how that goes. So as you can see now, I have sprayed, this is just the starboard propeller and shaft. In fact, should probably there. And now I have to get the rudder. If I told you it was soaking wet here. I wouldn't be an overstatement. But if I don't do this, I will regret it. Absolutely regret it. In terms of prepping, the running gear, I basically, you can see I cleaned it off last fall, so they're pretty much barnacle cleat free. I have a piece of sandpaper that I'm just gonna clean it and get any, any um, corrosion off before I spray, and now we are on the port side. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now we've done the uh, port side, but we are now out of paint, which is not great. So I'm gonna clean off this shaft and hopefully, you can see we've done the rudder. So hopefully that'll hold for now. There's still a few barnacles here, but I try to get most of them in the fall. So the other thing I wanted to point out is I mentioned that I was using the Zinc Pettit Zinc spray paint, which costs about $20, $25 a can, so it's pretty economical. There are other propeller treatments you could put on. The one that people may be most familiar with is something called Prop Speed. It's a two-part application that uh, boat yards have to put on. It can be extremely pricey. Um, it can run upwards of $500 to $1,000 for, for two propellers, depending on the size. And people say that it works well and it can be multi-season, but it, as I say, it's a very expensive. It's basically an application that makes the propellers very slick so that um, um, uh, barnacles and um, other marine growth don't stick to them. I've never tried it. Um, I would love it if anyone who has experience with prop speed could talk about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you, what you think about it. Is it worth the price? I have to say the zinc paint works more like an anti-fouling paint in that it prevents the buildup of the barnacles. It does nothing for marine growth, but it does help with um, the, as I say, the barnacles. Um, oh, and last thing I should point out, for those of you who don't already know this, if you are cleaning your running gear or any part of the underside of your boat, and you're cleaning off uh, barnacles, make sure you wear gloves 
couple reasons. One, barnacles when they're dry are extremely sharp and they will shred your hands pretty quickly. Um, I have experience with that and it's not pleasant. And also the bacteria in barnacles can actually start infections a little bit more easily than other things. So if you do cut your hand on a barnacle, make sure you wash it out thoroughly. I know it sounds like common sense, but sometimes you just sort of shrug it off, but barnacles can cause an infection. Um, and they, they are really nasty <laughs> in terms of cutting, cutting um, your hands up. So I recommend that. So um, on with the show. In any case, thanks for watching. As I said, the goal is to get Calypso 2 in the water next week. Um, we have a, our first big cruise planned for June. We're taking the boat up to Maine, so we'll bring you along with us for that. And um, I got a few other projects to go over with you. Um, we plan to install a backup camera on the boat, but in fact, I had planned to try to get that done today, but to be honest, it's just too cold and miserable. So we won't do that today, but um, we will uh, bring that to you as soon as we do that. And if you like this type of tips and DIY and how I did it type of information, make sure you um, click that subscribe button and smash the uh, thumbs up and make sure you hit the bell to let you know when we put out new videos and I will just preview for you We have some exciting things coming f up for you in the month of June. I don't want to give away too much, but stay tuned um, for some big big announcements in June, so um, Please continue to watch and we thank you for your patronage and uh, See you now in the next video